Okay, so we're gonna let this two damage happen because if we can end a turn, um, survival the angel and sur and then get um, probably sundering titan, pitch that as well, get another creature and then top. And if we see a land, I think we just win. Go ahead and survival twice. Discard the angel. Get Sundering Titan. Discard Sundering Titan. Get <coughs> um, Grave Titan. I don't think it really matters there. Go ahead and top. Top three cards. Uh, I'll take the Lanamore Waste. Go land, land, land. Yeah, and then we just live and live. Yep. Do 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 do. Um, let's go ahead and destroy the swamp. Um, white, black, and yeah. Oh, we have to destroy a green. Okay, that's fine. I think we win. Alright, I'll see you guys in round two. Alright, here we go with round two of our reanimator deck. And we, yes, we are going to play first. And... Man, if we had a discard outlet, this hand would be pretty awesome. But we don't. So... I hate to mulligan this, but you really have to. Because if you don't rip it, you just lose. So, yeah. Um... A little better, a l definitely slower, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one. Um, I don't think it's worth mulliganing. Go ahead and start off with the uh, I guess uh, Land of War ways. Let's go ahead and fetch this now. Um, let's go ahead and take Badlands. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is Vampiric Tutor now, and uh, I think I want to get Faithless Looting. Yeah. I don't want him to counter my vampire tutor, so. Um. So I think we'll run. We'll put the, uh, we're definitely not hard casting this angel ever, so I'm going to throw that in the graveyard first, and then the Sundering Titan, um, because the Sundering Titan is actually what I want to reanimate. Oh, wow, I did not reanimate that. That's okay. I didn't realize I could just reanimate this turn, but that's because I'm stupid. Um, I'm actually going to run Liliana out there first, now that we did that. Um, just see if he has a counter spell. Okay, mana leak. So, I'm not going to pretend like I meant to do that to play around mana leak or anything, but, um, um, let's 
see, I kind of want a Faithless Looting here, just because we're happy to pitch the Avenger Zendikar. And maybe one other card, and if we can get a land for this Necropotence next turn, like, the more counter spells we can bait out of him, the better, and like, if he ever plays a, uh, if he ever plays a creature of any sort, like, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and pitch Avenger and Forest. Yeah, play a Swamp and pass turn. Let's uh, play Necropotence. I mean, we're just kind of like running out cards that if he doesn't want to counter these, then fine, but. Um yeah. I think if he lets us resolve, we'll actually draw five cards, because we're happy to pitch a Grave Titan here. So the fact that he's thinking about this for quite a while makes me want to believe that this is his... What did he... Oh, he's buying that back. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and run top out there. Thoughtseize or something, maybe. Even a land, just a living death. If we can actually get up to six lands and just cast a Grave Titan and force him to forbid that as well. Let's see what he's got. Instant speed for five, four, five mana. Sure. Draw up to gain two. Okay. Duress is definitely coming in against this dude. Mox Sapphire, yep. So he's forbidden four other cards. Thunder guys. Okay. Um Mox Ruby's kind of like a land. I'm trying to think, if if we exhume, and he he's gonna play his Worm Coil, obviously. Um, we get Angel of Despair, and then we just blow up the Worm Coil. I think I'm going to put the, uh, and then we would, like, Damnation, Unis Prowler, and then Damnation. I guess, hmm. Yeah, fine. Um. 